Hi YouTubers, we're back and today we're going to do another punts versus prizes or prizes versus punts or whatever the thumbnail says. Um, but that's where we play the Daily Zenith on BBO which costs you one BBO dollar to enter. Um, and if you do well enough you'll get some money back. That's how I kind of keep uh, my bank balance topped up. Um, and if you do well enough, you'll get some prizes effectively. So the winning score we need is about on the on the on the border of fifty four percent, fifty three point six percent. It depends on you know what other players get in the field. But you can see here, there's about a thousand people have done it. We don't all play the same boards. It is match points, and it is one of the few times you'll see me play non best hand bridge. So we're playing robot challenges where we don't have the best hand at the table. So it's a slightly different playing style to some of the other stuff you see. We're going to jump in and we're going to see after 16 boards whether I've punted and, and don't get any money back or whether I've hit that sweet, sweet prize money. Um, but we're just going to jump straight in and remember we've not got the best hand. Um, so we'll take that into account as we go. So partners passed, East has bit one spade and we have 12 high, sorry, 10 high card points. Um, we don't really have a bid. We haven't got a five card suit. We haven't got enough to double. We haven't got the shape to double. So we're just going to pass. Um, Splinter. Now, I should probably double this to tell my partner to lead hearts, but I'm already going to lead hearts. If I double this, it might tell them that their lack of heart values is a bonus. Uh, or they might tell East that West doesn't have heart values, so I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Um, so sometimes if you, if you double or compete in the suit that they've splintered in, it means that they place their partner's values outside that suit and they can um, correctly value their hand better. So I'm just going to lead um, king, of, king of Hearts. And we know not to cash another heart because... Um, it's probably right to just play a spade here. I think a diamond could be right. A club can't be right, really. Um, but a diamond could give them a two, I guess, so the queen sorted. And a spade can't cost. If partner's got a spade on it, it's probably going to be singleton. So let's just play a spade. Yeah, now he's splintered. So it means that they, they, there are some hands that he thinks they can make slam on opposite uh, a hand that's just been two spades. So he's going to have a lot of points here. So what we're trying to do is just not give them a 12th trick or something. It doesn't. I don't feel that we're going to have a chance of beating this. East only has five spades as well. So for East to splinter here, you imagine they've got Ace King of Clubs, Ace of Diamonds, or close to it. Partner's discarded a club. I don't know why partner can't just discard a heart. So we play low. And if they drop my Queen of Clubs next, because partner's an idiot, and they discarded. Uh, a club when they shouldn't have done. Yeah, I mean, this is just like, why can't you discard a heart? That just like, it's just poor. It's really poor because they could take the club finesse. I shouldn't have discarded a heart. I think I've just dis lost another trick here, haven't I? Yeah, that's now that's on me. That's me getting frustrated at my partner. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's me. Sorry, partner. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely an error. We already started with a big punt, but that's I'm going to blame my partner. My partner from three low clubs and five low hearts when they've splintered in hearts, discarded a club, and it basically gives East an option to play for the drop where they didn't really have that option before that. Yeah, all right. Just yeah, it's poor. Right, he spits three diamonds. I don't really have a bit over that. I've got the shape for a double. I just don't have a point, so I'm going to pass. My partner's doubled, so I probably need to jump to something here because I've got... King of Diamonds is pretty bad, but I might... Might just be out to be three hearts, but four hearts could have play. Partner's got both majors. I'm probably going to try... I'm just going to try four hearts. There's a bit of an overbid here. Yeah, it's... No, well, it's good that partner's got the ace of diamonds, but it's bad that partner's only got three hearts here, which is the downside. All right, and this is going to get roughed. Yeah. Um, 
And they roughed with a jack of hearts as well, so that's really bad. We play a heart to the ace. We play a heart to the king. Okay. We cash. Well, I think we're going to make this now. They roughed with the their side's natural trump check, and we play a heart to the ten. And then we're going to make all the clubs and the hearts. That was lucky. So what we punted away on board one, we got back on board two. Like, West has just made a very aggressive ace of spades lead, got a bit lucky in that their partner's roughing it, and then got a bit unlucky that they... that then things just fall nice for me and I can claim. But with hearts 3-3, three, three, I'm actually not, not really in trouble there. So um, my guess is that we're back, we're back to about 40% now because board one will be about zero. Uh, anyway, we have a 12 count and we're 5-6. I'm going to open a diamond. And then I bid two spades. And then I think I have to be four spades here. All right, it's a complete misfit, and they've led the ace of a suit that I could have got away with. Um, it, they might switch to a spade here, but yeah. Uh, partner's got an 11 count, Tretter is game forcing, so we're, we're in a bit of a fragile position here. I would like them to switch to a trumper trick too, because it, it might then pick my trump situation up, and then what I can do is I can just lose the ace of hearts, one trump and one diamond. And I can throw my three low diamonds around the winners in dummy potentially. So we will we will play low. Yeah, the switch to the jack. So uh, win this. Mm. It might be right to like. If we try and rough a diamond, we could play Ace of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds, trying to rough in Dummy, but if I feel like East has Ace to Four Spades there, because the Jack of Spades is weird, that, it, that East didn't go up with the Ace and play a Spade back, so my guess is that East has Spade length. So I might forgo the roughing down for this, which is a possibility, and just try and draw Trumps. All right, so I'm gonna take the Finesse. Which wins, it's pretty good. And we'll try the King of Spades. And then I guess we just play. We could do something a bit uh aggressive here. So we know that East has a winning spade left. So this is this could be this could be very nice. We know that East has a winning spade left. Now, are we gonna make Seriously enough tricks here. Probably not, but what we could play for is East to have three diamonds exactly and not more than three clubs. And we could throw them in. We could play um, a club to the ace, king of clubs, rougher club, and then throw them in. And if they play a diamond, my hand's good. And if they play a heart, uh, dummy wins the king jack of hearts. Yeah, we're going to try that. We're going to try for a very specific distribution because I can't see another distribution where we're going to make. Even if East has singleton king of diamonds at this point, I can't make it because I haven't. I just haven't got enough tricks. So what we're going to do is play for a club's initially to be 3-3. Three, three. Let's see if this works. Club's initially to be 3-3 three, three, so that I can play ace, king, and rougher club and set the clubs up in dummy. And we're going to play East to have initially four spades, three diamonds, three clubs, and three hearts. That works. That is a, that is a potential distribution they could have. So we're going to play a club to the ace. I'm going to try the king of clubs. All right. And they're going to play a diamond. Well, we know the finesse is working. But my guess is that East has diamond length. Yeah, so... Uh, I will at least make the beer card, but I'm going to go one off. I'm going to rough that. I'm going to play a trump. 
And I'm going to make a forlorn attempt to make the bear card. Now, if the Queen of Hearts is offside, I wasn't watching. The Queen of Hearts is onside. So 3N might. Uh, surely 3N doesn't make, does it? No, you've just not got enough oomph. Yeah. Once you open that and partner treats as a game forcing, you're going to get to game. So potentially, four spades could do a lot worse. If you win the spade and play Ace of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds, trying to rough it, what East can do is East can win. They can cash the Ace of Spades to stop you roughing any more diamonds. And then stick you in dummy with a club. And then you're in trouble, I think. Yeah. Right, so six, seven, eight, nine. Partners opened a spade. We just bid uh, two spades, is it? Yeah, seven to ten points. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it would have been really nice to make it on the distribution I was playing for. It used to be originally four triple three with four spades. And it would have worked. There's nothing they could have done to stop me if that was the case. It would have been like a, an end play in two suits. Strip, squeeze, and end play. Not really a squeeze, but strip and end play. We're in four spades by north. Um, it looks like we're just going to lose the two minus two aces here, so I don't see there's much to the play. Um, the only danger is if the spades, if you're a bit lax and they, they're able to duck the diamond, you might lose a heart. So we're just going to um, draw chumps, blocking the hearts, but keeping the king of hearts as an entry to the long diamond. So. Um, let's not give them a chance for a diamond. Rough. Just draw trumps. Yeah, so trumps are 4 1. Now there is a chance that they. Uh, I'm going to throw a diamond away and then play the jack, I think. So the cash clubs. Yeah, they do. All right. There was a chance that by throwing a diamond away, I might entice them not to play a club. Uh, but we're going to make the rest now. Yep. Right, we have uh, oh, quite a lot here. Yeah? Eleven, eleven, nine, twenty. Um, so I don't like opening such strong hands at the one level, but I think I'm going to. And then here, this is one of those ones where. Uh, a bit like board one, they splintered opposite a two response. So I could splinter, but the bots don't rate splinters very well. And they've got nothing to cube with. So do I do I look for slam here? So let's put partner on some hands. They would need... What I think I might try is three hearts. If partner does, accepts that as a game try, I might look for slam. That might be the way to go. So with a human, you'd splinter, but with a bot, I think what I'm going to try is three hearts. If they accept this game try, they, they are liable to have values in hearts, which is what I need. Right, they rejected it, so I'm not going to go any further. I'm just going to sign off in game. Well... We can't really make six, but we're not far. I like just think he just needed a doubleton diamond or something, and then six would be like you've got to accept that as a game try. You can't just count your points and sign off. You've got to think partners worried about hearts. If they're worried about hearts, and I've got king queen jack, you're making game. Whew. Right. Um. So we, we're unlikely to make 12 here. What we'd need is one hand to have... We're going to play for it, I think. Uh, we need one hand to have four hearts and three spades. So we will play this. We will cash two trumps.
And what we were like, we need to be able to cash four hearts to throw a diamond from the north end away. Then we need to play king of diamonds and rougher diamond, or or in some order. That not 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 quite that order. And the, to be able to cash four hearts, there's one trump outstanding. We need the person with that trump to also have four hearts, um, just so we can do it. If they rough one of the hearts, it means we definitely get to rough the diamond. So, how oh, does it? Oh, uh, we might be short of entries here. Oh, no, we could be in trouble there. So if they rough this heart, I'm in trouble. I'm going to pretend for hearts at 5-1. Yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to go for it. Yeah, I go off with potentially for hearts of 5-1. Yeah, okay, so they rough this, but now what I can do is win the diamond return. Um, throw a diamond on the ace of hearts, and I haven't lost anything. To stop that rough, I would have had to draw trumps. And then I will win the last three tricks, yeah. Like, they're very, the bots are very good at... Having their bid and whatever, they're bad at judging things. Six, seven, eight, ten, eighteen. All right, so we've got eighteen, so we open one of our best minor because we haven't got five card major, and we're going to be rebidding two N. However, that was a bit of heart, so we're just going to bid three hearts, which shows sixteen to eighteen total points. I'm going to count my losers before I do this, just in case I want to bid four. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got a five loser hand. I'm just going to upgrade it to a four heart bid. All right, so we're going to lose. Looks like we're going to lose two spades of spade, rough fair. Um, and I don't think there's a heart layout where we cannot lose a heart. Unless they rough with their trump trick. So that's what we're going to have to play for. Green, yeah. They do these aggressive doubleton leads, and it, I can't believe the frequency in which it works. All right, so potentially not a good spot. What we need to do is play for East initially to have king to three hearts. So we can pick the hearts up now. We can play a heart to the queen. All right. Yeah, and we're going to lose the heart to the 10 here. So we're going to claim one off. Like, as a human, I wouldn't lead the jack of spades from that at match points. It just, it loses, so you've got king x of hearts. You might have a natural heart trick anyway, if north has the ace of hearts. You've got jack 10, 8 to 5 diamonds. It's such a safe lead at match points. So they get, yeah, it swings and roundabouts, because when they make these aggressive leads and they don't work, then you sit there laughing and thinking, what awful leads. But here... Yeah, you got away with it, and it's what happens in real life bridge as well. Yeah, sometimes your opponents lead what you wouldn't lead, and they win their board, and you think, well, you know, what can you do? All right, so six points pass. I've had a spate of hands where we've played game five hands in a row, which is weird in non-best hand bridge, but and now we're back to the point where we're just passing through. We'll analyse the auction at the end. All right, so we're about to pass. Uh, West open a no trump, East bid Stamen, West shed hearts, East invited, and West said yes. Okay, so e West has a 16 or 17 count with four hearts. Partner's like the King of Diamonds, Partner's also got the Ace, Partner won't have much else now. They tried to give me a rough, didn't work. Alright. Um. So with humans, you'd have to have decided what to play here quickly. But with bots, they don't read into your hesitation. So are they going to play a, heart, a club to the king? Or if they've got king, jack, guess, I have to play low. They won't have a singleton, so there's no... Oh, they could have the fourth diamond. If they've got the fourth diamond, then they can throw the seven of clubs away if I duck this. So I think I have to take this. And I play another club back. Yeah, so they've shown they've got ace, king of clubs. I don't know why they're not drawing trumps. Maybe because they're missing the queen or something? No? All right. 
Now, her partner's got the fourth diamond. Yeah, and they're gonna, they've got a discard on the King of Clubs here. And do I make a spade? No, they cross off the last two tricks. Okay. We took what we could. Ten tricks. They're lucky that Ace and King of Diamonds are on side and the Ace of Clubs is on side. I guess. Because otherwise that's a lot more awkward. Alright, so Wes has opened a diamond, partners with two clubs. And I have a 17 count. Am I just bidding three N? Can is there a realistic chance of us making six clubs? I think I'm just going to bid two diamonds and then three N. Show a good hand. No, it's going to be three M. All right. Partner has a diamond stop. Thankfully, my queen of hearts is protected here. So they can cash two hearts, but then I should make maybe the rest of the tricks. All right. Is there a chance I can punish them for not cashing their heart here? Oh, I kind of wish the Queen of Queen was in the north end. I think what I need to do is try and squeeze them out of a diamond trick somehow, but it's not a legitimate squeeze. So the only way for this to work is I need clubs and spades not to be like 5-2 or 5-0 for clubs. We play the king, we play the ace of spades. And a spade. Okay, so I can continue to throw diamonds away. And then I can try and play these clubs, which are coming in as well. I've tested them. Now pitch the queen. Right, I think the diamonds are good now. I think West's king of diamonds is singleton, so we play the queen. And I think they've got a singleton king, and the eight's good. So that, so that wasn't a legitimate squeeze, but if North's heart was high enough to threaten only West, for example, if North had the 10 of hearts, then it would have been a legitimate squeeze against West. And we punished them for not cashing their second heart at trick two. When I've done, when I haven't just been 3N straight away there, I've shown a really good hand. When I've been two diamonds, then 3N, I've shown a really good hand, but my partner is right to sign off. But that's when, at the point where they play the spade, it's right to sit there and plan any sort of squeeze and ending and how you're going to wangle any extra tricks, what sort of pressure you can put them under, and the order you need to do it in. So we needed to test both black suits before we, before we embarked on it, and we need to discard the diamonds from the north end so that West feels pressure to throw their diamonds away too. Uh, we have six hearts and not many points. Now, this is one of those ones where I could just make a very aggressive, like, three heart bid or something. They could have slam on here. Three hearts is preemptive. Strong rebidable hearts, it's not that. So I guess I, I guess I just show a single suited hand with hearts. So I'm going to be two, two clubs. I have a single suited hand with hearts. Okay, my guesses are going to... Wow, partner must have a maximum pass here. But it's very weird that partner hasn't made an action, but my guess is they can make four spades here because I've got a five count and they in my partner's past. And the spades are, mm, I don't know. Well, play the queen hearts. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. But no, eight. they've got eight, opposite, probably 17. So it looks like they've missed game here. All right, and hopefully me bidding will entice East to place me for missing values here. All right, East has ace, queen of spades. Partner has... All right, they're going to drop my queen of diamonds now because partner's shown all their points. So this is, this is why they're just too aggressive in defense sometimes. We had a second diamond trick, but we didn't get it. I don't have four spades as well. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Well. Yeah, I just, yeah, let's see if they can make four spades anyway. Yeah, so, so we've got two, three, eight, nine. Ten, yeah, they can just make four spades. So, just have a look at the hand just to show you what I'm thinking. Quick analysis of the hand at the end. So, uh, they've got five spade tricks. A heart is six. One diamond, if they play down to the king, is seven. Two clubs is nine. And then they need a tenth trick. Normally, it would be the diamond finesse. But the other option of a tenth trick is roughing a heart in the, uh, in the east hand. Um, for ten tricks. Entries are a problem, but you can play a club to the queen at some point and use that as your entry to off the heart. But yeah. Partners should just play low on the diamond. We did have to, the way they would played it, we had two diamond tricks, I think. They weren't, they weren't going to get the diamonds right because I've bid. Yeah, all right. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We've got 14. I could, open it. I could upgrade this to a no trump put. I'm too suited, so I'm going to bid a spade. Partners bid three downs, which is invitational. Uh, I don't like this, but I might just have to bid three in here, hoping we make six diamonds, two clubs, and partners got a heart stop. Partners got to have something outside diamonds to invite here, so I'm going to bid uh, three no trumps. And the reason is that if partner had values in spades, they're, they'll be double turns, so the odds that all their values are in spades and they haven't got a heart trick are pretty low. So this could get punished, but I'm going to try 3N. Um, because my King Queen of Diamonds are really good here. Yeah, so this is, so partner did have a heart stop, sort of. Um, but we're going to make hopefully four clubs and six, uh, seven diamonds. Woohoo! Jack. I think we just have to cash out here. I don't think I can risk playing a heart up because if the ace of hearts is offside I'm just getting so many off yeah and then I'll just claim seven more tricks yeah all right the ace of hearts is on side so I could have faffed about but they've always got three caching tricks off the top so the fact that I had 10 means I'm only faffing about for them to not only misdefend, but for a favourable situation. It's just not right to do so. But I know some people that would, because it's match points. We have 10 high card points, so we're just going to pass. And they've bid one diamond. Now, for various reasons, I'm going to bid two clubs there, and this is a bad bid. But the reason is that I... I'm much more aggressive than overcaller when I've got length in the suit bid on my right. The fact that East has opened a diamond means it's nearly always natural. It could be a three-card diamond suit. But when it is a three-card diamond suit, they've probably got a major suit fit, and it makes it harder for them to find it if I bid two clubs. Partner's not going to go overboard because I'm a past hand, so I'm not going to get too in trouble. And more importantly, if two clubs ends up being the final destination, one, because I've got length in diamonds, partner will likely be short because East has diamonds as well, which means partner's got club support. Two, they're going to lead a diamond, hopefully, and that's good for me, because it sets my diamonds up. And three, 
Because partner's short in diamonds, and West is probably short in diamonds, partner is over roughing West. So you're in a good good situation here. So I'm going to bid two clubs, and it's a bad bid. Don't do this at home. Okay, pass. Right, so good. They have not got to their major suit fit. West decided to show diamond support. Partner short in diamonds. Partner's probably got both majors here. Uh, I guess I'm just leading a small club in case, case, case partner's got like stiff queen or stiff king or something. I don't see the benefit in leading the jack because I'm a certainly partner has not got club length there because they've got so few diamonds as partner that um, they will they would have supported clubs if they had it. So I'm going to lead a low club. Uh, the other possibility is you could lead the king of spades as well, but I, I, don't, I don't want to do that. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, they could always, if they've got ace to three, yeah, if they've got ace to three clubs, they could always pick these up. So I've only really lost when they've got ace doubleton here. Um, they're not going to play the 10 because they're scared of a club bluff here. All right, and they're in a 4-4 four, four fit. They might be in a 4-3 fit here. I don't want a heart rough. You're going to give me a heart rough, aren't you, partner? Yeah, so I've lost a club trick by leading low at trick one. Uh, so I guess we rough and let my partner rough a club. Yeah, so I've got two more diamonds here. So I'll win this. And I don't want to get M played. And I think what I need to do is just clear the cl my club. They might not have enough, enough steam here, but they could pick up my partner's heart here. If my partner's got a finessable heart. No, partner's got the queen, that's good. We beat it by one, which is really good. Uh, I have to throw the club away. It doesn't really matter now because they've got the ace of spades in a rough. Uh, I don't know how good plus 50 is going to be because they have a heart fit but partner's got ace queen 10 extra heart so their heart fit might not play very well either but I'll take it they were in a 4-3 fit you can see how my aggressive overcall has worked well because of the way that things have, have, have led and I did quote when I overcalled I said if, I, if it does happen that they've got three diamonds it makes it very difficult for them to find their major suit fit as happened here um, all right, if I leave the jack of clubs, we probably do a trick better, maybe. Didn't really want to rough. Um, anyway, what are we doing here? Oh, oh, I think I've made an error. What I think I should do, yeah, I think I've made an error. What I think I should do is exit with the king of spades, not a club. And then they don't have the, they don't have the timing to get their heart trick. I play the king of spades yeah the, yeah that's that's my fault that is a mistake i'll show you what i mean before we uh, go any, any further so okay so i rough the heart i give my partner a rough they give me a, sorry they play this so at this point i exited with uh i exited with a club I think if I exit with the king of spades here, even if East has the jack of spades, as long as they've not got a 10 as well, I think they can't untangle their heart chick quick enough. They can rough a spade to get to dummy. They can play the queen of clubs as a winner. They can lead a heart towards their jack, but my partner can win the heart and cash a spade because they've got no chumps left. So that's just me being lazy there. I, I should have worked out that a club can never gain. And I should just play the king of spades. Yeah, that's um, that's a bad board, bad bad Steve. We might win that board anyway because they might have got too high. So just getting a plus score on that board might be good. We'll check at the end, but um, I think there's a couple of opportunities we could have got two off there. Uh, here I'm not going to bid um, two clubs. 
Uh, it just uh, you're not good enough. I wasn't good enough for two clubs last time, but there were there were tactical reasons for doing so. All right, they're in five hearts, so we're going to analyze this auction a bit. So it goes: a heart, a spade, three diamonds is game forcing with diamonds. Three hearts is preference. Four hearts, okay. Four spades is I'm better than I could be. I've got the ace of spades. Have you got enough key cards? I've got this many. Okay, that's not enough. Um, will partner lead a club? Well, it is the unbid suit. Good luck, partner. So they were missing a key card, but they've got to be missing two, surely, to avoid. Like, they're never going to run that. Don't cover it, partner. The fact that they're roughing the King of Diamonds is a bad sign. Spades are coming in, you see. I know that from my hand. I better keep. I guess I better keep the diamonds. But if they've got a spade, they're coming in. They got the queen. That makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. So, so the void actually plays well from the east end, but east wouldn't show that void because it's one of partner suits. Like, it would be much better if they'd agreed spades and East could ask, because East could realise that... Or maybe you can't find out the King and Queen of Hearts then, so maybe not. Right, they're up under no chump in front of us, we will pass. And we will pass. We will pass. Okay, so West has shown both miners with two spades, and a singleton spade with three spades. Now I've got a singleton spade, so I think I'm going to lead a heart. I think... I've got sort of a trick in both miners, sort of. And I think East has got to have spades here to bid 3N. I also don't want to pick my partner spades up, so let's just play a heart. All right, so I do have... Ooh. Uh, partner's got the Ace of Diamonds. They're just going to cash out lots of tricks there. Yeah. So East has Ace, King, Queen, Jack of Spades and King, Queen of Clubs. So where East might have the Queen of Hearts or something. Partner's got the Ace of Diamonds. So I need to keep the clubs, otherwise the clubs come in. And... Yeah. Yeah. Then. All right, low diamond. No, okay, they throw me in, so I can cash the ace of hearts. I wonder if the jack of diamond, the queen of diamonds, lead at trick one would have beat it. Yeah, it would have done. So Queen of Diamonds lead. I don't think I'll ever find the Queen of Diamonds lead. Not when Dummy's shown both miners. I think the Queen of Diamonds lead is too difficult a lead to find. Um, but as soon as you play Spades to 10, you know the exact shape of the hand. So we didn't drop one sub letter heart. We didn't drop a trick. But the heart lead gives them their 10th trick. If I lead a Spade, they actually only have nine, don't they? As long as I fly in with the Ace of Hearts and play the Queen of Diamonds through. So. Alright, how are we doing? So we've got a 10 count, they've opened a spade, haven't got a bid. Oh, it's two hearts. I think I'm good enough to show a good. Oh, hang on. 13 high card points. Alright, I can't do that then. I guess I bid three hearts. That's weird. I thought it's two 
Because I haven't been over one spade. I thought two spades will just be like an 11 count with three hearts, but it's better than that, according to the box. Well, we're going to go one off here. Um, they're going to cash one spade, two diamonds, and a club. I'm not sure there's much we can do about it. We, we've got six hearts, spade is seven, a diamond is eight, and a club is nine. Um, because they found the spade lead, we've got no opportunity to get rid of dummy spades on my clubs. Sorry, north spades on dummy's clubs. And have they bid? Yeah, I think I just need to win and draw trumps and concede some tricks. I'm scared there's a diamond rough or something. Uh, I think my only chance is to try, let's try a, a club up. If they're flying with the ace and then the jack of clubs drops. Yeah, if the jack of clubs drops, but they're going to cash a spade, so it doesn't really matter. They're going to cash a spade. They're going to play another spade. Yeah, we rough. And then we need to knock out the ace of diamonds and rough a spade and knock out the king of diamonds and rough. Yeah, so we're going to lose two diamonds and then make the rest. We have eight. I'm going to pass. Partner bids a heart. We're going to bid two hearts. And partner passes. So we're playing in two hearts. And quick count of the tricks says we're going to lose two spades, no diamonds. Uh, probably at one club, but not two. And then some number of hearts, at least one, maybe two. So. I think what we're going to do is try and finesse the Queen of Hearts. And then we're going to try and finesse the King of Clubs. Although the King of Clubs finesse doesn't gain. Because if the Queen of Clubs wins when you run it, you've still got to lose a club. Um, the correct suit combination here is to play uh, Club to the Ace and Club to the Queen, I think. Um, because it's unlikely we're going to be able to rough a club. Um, but we'll see. We might be able to if the diamonds good to throw some clubs away, so we will we will get to that in a bit. So they're gonna play another heart. Play a diamond. So I wonder if I need to win this and play a heart. Wow, okay. Jack. That wins. That's not great. So I think what we need to do now, I mean, the best play in clubs is to play a club to ace and a club off, but. Yeah, we'll do that and then we'll play another heart. Uh, I guess we win. We tr draw the last chomp. And we now need someone to throw a club away, I think. So what we do is play another. We can't play another chump, otherwise they just cash the spades. So we play a diamond. What was this queen of diamonds? So it's queen jack double turn. We clear the clubs. All right, so they've got another club to cash and a spade to cash. So we just make it exactly. There were other possibilities in the hand, but once the heart to the jack wins, you just ignore everything else because you know you've got a surefire way of not losing a second heart. I don't get the diamond switch. I don't know why you don't cash a second spade first. Hmm. Right. All right, we have... Eight, this is the last board. Nine, ten. I think we've, other than board one, which was just awful, I think we've, we've done okay, actually. I think. Anyway, we've got, uh, we've got nine, we've got ten. We haven't got a bid again, so we're just going to pass. For a similar reason earlier, that I'm not going to do it this time, but two hearts is awful, but it's not as awful as it could be because you've got spade length over east. 
West will lead a spade. That's not a bad thing for you. You'll be able to rough spades and dummy if you need to be, because dummy won't have many spades. But because we've got good defense to whatever they get to, um, it's not worth kind of just sticking your head out and getting doubled for 300 or 500 or something. Your suit's also really bad. You don't really partner lead from King X against 3N. Uh, so I'm just going to pass. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. All right, well, hopefully that's not from King X, like I, I did just say. Um, so I've got this spade sewn up. They've not got any heart tricks. My guess is that they're going to make some, like, six clubs and several diamonds here. Seems weird to play the Queen of Diamonds at that point. Before drawing trumps. This seems very weird. Oh, have they got Ace Queen Doubleton? I think they've got Ace Queen Doubleton. Yeah. Uh, so we play this and they throw a heart away. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, okay, so they've got six clubs, seven, eight, nine. Then, and three spades. They've got three spades here, so I can cash the jack. And I can cash two spades, I think. And this partner got a chump left? I don't think they do. Yeah, so they're going to make last two. Okay, so. Jump roll, please. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, is this going to be prizes or is this going to be punts? My guess is it's prizes. Uh, Unlike the last time we played one of these, although last time we played one of these, I got 53.8, which actually got me a prize. So um, we will see, and we will have a look at some of the keyboards that we've done well at on Badly At. $40 for an event, wow. People are just paying for master points, I guess. All right, fifty-two percent. It is punt. Huh. Okay. All right, I'm gonna look through some of these. I don't get why some of these were so bad. The board one, I get. I'll give board one. We've discussed board one already. Board one was poor. Board two is ninety-three percent. That was the one that got us it back. So that was fine. Uh, 68, fine, 43, fine, 37, fine, someone making six? I mean, I can't make any more, can I? I suppose if I, I don't think, I mean, I can't make any more. I guess if you're in 3N and you don't need a club. Yeah, if you open it 2N, maybe you get to 3N, yeah, okay, so I can, I can see why that's bad. Board six was 18%. All right, so if I only bid three hearts, partner might pass. It is really a three-heart bid. But you count your losers. Mm. Yeah, you don't really want to be in it. Even, even if you didn't get a jack of spades lead, it's not really a good contract. Um, okay, so that was 18%. Board 8 was 92%, so we'll take that. Uh, that's because I squeezed them out of or squeezed them out of the diamond. So we'll take that. And uh, 42, 71, 71. Yeah, that's fine. Some people might not bid that. Board 11 was 100%. This is my awful two club overcall. So I will take that. I will. Uh, that's a bad bid that works. And that's, to be honest, that is um, like a match point mantra. Bad bids that work get you match points. Uh, so this was 28%. Why was this so low? Oh, because I've got a heart. I guess if I leave the Queen of Diamonds or a spade. Okay, that one, I can see why that was low. This was 42. Well, we can't stay out of that, I don't think. This is 42. Can't do any better. And this was 35. We can't do any better, can we? No. Right. That just felt like one of those sets where I thought we'd done better. Like, as in, I thought we didn't have many errors, but I guess some people are doing other things that work, like bad bids that work. There's going to be a few of these, like board four and five, three ends make, maybe. Um, that we should maybe be in three N. 
Um, but I will see. I mean, that could go up. It doesn't look like I'll get prizes as it stands, but only nine or eight people have played those boards. And I think by the end of it, there's about 30 people that play each board. So given I don't feel I've made many out-and-out -out mistakes other than board one, um, that might get better for me. So we will see. Anyway, that has been Punt or Prizes. Still yet to have a good prize video for you all. But uh, I've been Steve. If you want to um, join my Discord, links below, Twitch link there so you can watch me do stuff live. Um, but otherwise, uh, I will see you soon. Peace out. Happy bridging.